For my next toolpath, I want to cut away all the material in this region down to this level. And we're actually going to do something pretty similar. I'm actually going to take this toolpath, hold down my right mouse button, slide my mouse down, tell it to make a copy. And I'm going to move my pointer down to the end of the list. And we'll go in and look at these parameters. Now most of the cut parameters will be the same, but I want to go to my toolpath type and I want to reselect my regions. So for the machining region, I'm just going to unselect both of these actually. And to select my machining region, I'm going to pick this entire boundary here, that silhouette boundary. And we'll OK that. And for our avoidance regions, I'm going to switch to a solid selection. And you can see I've got it set to face selection. Well, I'm going to pick this face here. And then I'm going to turn off face so that I can select an edge as a loop. And I'm going to pick this edge here. I'm going to pick the other face. So I've got this boundary going around the top. OK that. OK here. And for my comment, I'm going to change it so it says rough mill the inside ledge of the part. Cut parameters, I can turn that off, although it really wouldn't matter. It's still only going to go to the one depth. And for my linking parameters, I actually want to set my depth to any point on that ledge. So it's minus two hundred thousands. That should be good. OK that. And now we'll regenerate that toolpath. So that created a boundary that just cut out this middle section. Now again I could use this icon in my operations manager to only display the selected toolpath and then whichever toolpath I see will be displayed. And you might have to do a function key F3 to repaint your screen to clean things up a little bit. And actually you can see it's doing some retracts here. I might actually go back into those parameters for the cut parameters and turn this off again. And maybe for this I don't want it to leave any stock on the walls. We'll regenerate that again. 